My hat. I love your hat. It's perfect for this you next like one. My hat? Yes. Beware the snowman. <gasps> No Your melting allowed. No melting allowed. Does it even say that on the... Yeah, it doesn't. It does. There. Every once in a while they're different in the blurbs on the back. So, but Jacqueline used to live near her aunt Greta in Chicago, but her not anymore. Jacqueline! Yes. Jacqueline! Okay. <laughs> but not anymore. She ran away from all the bullets. Uh, they've moved to a place called Sherpia. It's a Sherpia. tiny town on the edge of the Arctic Circle. Jacqueline can't believe she's stuck out in nowhere's Oh my god. No movie theaters, no malls, no nothing. Oh my god. This is so 90s. <laughs> Plus, there's something really odd about the village. At night, there are strange howling noises. Oh. And in front of every house, there's a snowman. Didn't that remind you a little bit of the, what are they called in um, Animal Crossing? The little things in front of gyroids? every house? Gyroids? Gyroids house? Those are not gyroids. A creepy, a creepy snowman with a red scarf, a deep scar on his face, and a really evil smile. Like yours. But yeah, I really like this one. I mean, this is great. I am partial to like uh, snowy, icy settings, so that really helped. And there was a cane friend. Yes. His name was Wolf Spain, but and he was a wolf. This is a good, just kind of fun Arctic adventure, and this is another one of this those really like good. it felt more like an old folk tale, like a current adventure story, rather than just sort of a straight like monster spooky thing or like mm -hmm. ghost. Yeah. So that worked really well. I gave that one an eight out of ten. I did. I gave it eight point five. I was I was super super upset because it starts Why? when the snow blows. The the poem it starts oh, yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most that. fucked up poem ever. Read it. If you think you it's so messed it. up. No, it's just it's just screwed up. And her well, name is Jacqueline. Me, you can just like not read it. What's wrong with you? Jacqueline. <laughs> you gonna her name make is a big Jacqueline. deal out of it? When the snow wait when the snows blow wild and the day grows old, beware the snowman, my child. Where the snowman, he brings the cold. It's like the icy hand of death reaching out for you at night before you go to sleep. It is. Good night, my That's child. a horrible way to start it, though. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Do you like my jacket? Is my husband catching jacket? Yeah, that's a, you wore this that all the time before we started dating. Yeah. This is my husband catching jacket. It works very well. Husband catching jacket. The little purple jacket, weaving her way through the crowds at hack. <laughs> But moving on to the next one here, we move from an icy setting to the skies and how I learned to fly. He's got his head in the clouds for real. Wilson Wilson Schlame, Schlamey, which we realized is spelled incorrectly on the back of the book compared to inside the actual book. You're missing an M. Loves mm -hmm. to make Jack Johnson feel like a total loser. I love how that's I love how that's his name, Jack Johnson. Know, so Jack Johnson. And Jack's had it. That's how he ended up down at the beach in a creepy old abandoned house in the dark trying to hide from Wilson. But everything is about to change because Jack just dug up the coolest book. It's called Flying Lessons. It tells how humans can learn to fly. Poor Jack, he wanted to get back at Wilson, but now that Jack's learned how to fly, things down on Earth are getting really scary. Because fame and attention is overbearing and ruins your life. And that's the lesson we learned from R.L. Stein. <laughs> and I feel like at this point, he has learned he probably, that. Yeah, learned that lesson. Yeah, yeah. He's probably getting tired. And this is also point. another really good example of the pressure to compete that mm -hmm. boys that age feel. And just the uh, yeah, I didn't relate to that at him. all. I yeah, was just I know, so I, I was so pissed but, off with that. There really points. is. There just there's that this genetically ingrained that just that pressure to to compete amongst boys of that age. Like, they're 12 in this, right? 12, 13? So like, yeah, yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't like it. But this was the first one that I found some sort of error in. Oh, yeah, yeah. This I was totally didn't even, super weird. My and brain, it, like, corrected it as I was reading. Yeah, it was, it was really weird. I read it, like, three times, and then I came and found you. But in Chapter 18, he, his name is Jack, the narrator. Yeah. And he says, Mia and Jack did things. Twice. Yeah, he it's uses supposed to be Wilson. The name Jack. It yeah. should be Wilson. Yeah, and, Wilson, yeah. and it, it was super confusing to me. And it's just like half a page, and then it goes back to Wilson yeah. as the, the other child. Yeah. But super weird. I like this one overall. I thought it was a really good okay. representation of that. And like, I know you, you know, didn't grow up with that, but like, it, it really was like you, you had a brother and things like I don't know. I did just, have a brother. Just, I still you know, have one. I, no, but I'm He's saying not like dead. no, I'm saying like you, that, that that pressure to compete that, that boys at that age have, and it, it, it comes out in like weird, like generally stupid ways when they're 12, 13 years old and so, like, beyond. It came, yeah, well, it came out really well. And the other thing too is this is another one that had some blatant, like really funny, like definitely for adults, like jokes in here. 
Like they're constantly competing, and like, oh my gosh, Wilson is always better. Every, you know, anything Jack does, Wilson comes, does it faster, does it better, does it bigger. And then even at the party, they have the hot dog, and he's like, ah, even Wilson's hot dog is bigger than mine. And it's just, <laughs> there's so just the way it was worded and things is so funny. Yeah, but, but it just worked the out The recipe, really well. he eats, he eats it raw. Yeah. And there's like ten eggs in there. <laughs> And I just He's couldn't stop thinking doing about this. Just, oh, I like, that's so I like, gross. I like that the dog eats some of it too. I think that's funny. What's the dog's name? Do you remember the dog's name? No, I don't remember the dog's name. You don't remember the dog's name? No. His dog is a cocker spaniel. Yeah. His name is Morty. But Wilson's dog is a lab named Terminator. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Terminator! Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. That's gonna be your favorite dog ever. But you didn't even care. It's me, the potty pooper. Well, he, he can play Twister. His dog's better. Yeah. That Morty's dog. He yeah. can like spin the twister wheel. Every, he's, everything's better. But he's just that, that jerk who's good at everything, but then he gets his at the end. And that's, yeah. And has a happy ending. It which does have a happy ending. There aren't that ending. many that have a happy ending. They're either like completely, completely horrible or it's, you know, it's it's kind of like you get this weird twist or it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Like, yeah. You know, it's like, but then she turned around. <gasps> but this was just a genuine happy ending. Like, yeah. It worked out pretty well. So yeah. that's pretty rare. But anyway, that was, I gave that one an eight as well. So two eight in a row for me. I gave that a seven. Yeah. But, but still, still pretty good. Yeah, so I enjoyed good that. One. And then we, um. We will be back. Yeah, back with, um, one well, that's not so great. Meh. Yeah. Not, not great at all. It was pretty bad. We'll talk about that later.